The R1C1 is a wireless speed light system for fully automatic close-up flash photography. The kit consists of two SB R200 speed light flash units, which can be attached to the camera lens by means of an attachment ring and an SU800 commander for remote control via the cameras through the lens flash system. All control of the settings and lighting is done via the commander using infrared communication. A standard set of two flash units is supplied in a case and consists of the following components. A flexible arm clip for the diffuser, a translucent diffuser panel, an attachment ring on which the flash units can be mounted, five lens adapter rings for lenses with filter sizes of 77, 72, 67, 62 and 52 mm. The Speedlight Commander, the central processing unit for the set. Two SBR200 remote Speedlight flash units. Two filter holders for the color filters. Two diffusers for soft frontal lighting effects. Two stands for the flash units when they're not in use on the ring. A set of color filters for creative lighting effects and an infrared panel to be attached to the camera shoe when the camera's built-in flash is used as a commander. Set up the flash system as follows. First, mount the appropriate adapter ring on the lens according to the filter size of the lens. Then screw the attachment ring for the flash units onto the adapter ring. Next, click the SBR200 flash units onto the attachment ring, first one, and lock it with the slider. The buttons on the side allow the flash unit to be moved around the ring and the flash head can be simply aimed at the subject. Attach the second SBR200 flash unit in the same way. Mount the SU800 Speedlight Commander in the camera's accessory shoe and lock it by turning the knob clockwise. Press the on-off switch on the Commander and the flash system is ready for use. The Nikon D200 camera supports the Nikon Creative Lighting System. Before showing some practical examples, let's first go through a few options and settings for the R1C1. The flash units are mounted on small tripods, switched on and positioned to the left and right of the subject, in this case a little handmade wooden figure from Indonesia. The flash units can be divided into groups and the intensity of the light from each group can be adjusted in steps. The left flash unit is set as Group A and the right flash unit as Group B. On the Commander, the light intensities of display groups A and B are set one to one. This means that the same amount of light is produced on each side. If desired, you can even set up a third group C. In the first photo, the shadows on the right and left are identical. Let's take a series of photos. First, flash A on the left is set to three and B, the right-hand flash, to 1. A now gives three times as much light as B and produces a harsher shadow. Then let's set group A to 8 and group B to 1. The proportions will change accordingly. Let's take the same series of photos with the proportions the other way around, 1 to 3 and 1 to 8. Now group B gives 8 times as much light as group A. 8 is the maximum setting. Naturally, all intermediate values are possible. In this arrangement, flash A has been placed as the main light source behind the subject and flash B will be used as frontal fill-in flash. The system permits virtually continuous adjustment of the proportions to get the right lighting. Another possibility with the R1C1 speedlight system is the creative use of color filters. In this arrangement, the white background is lit with different colors. Let's first take a photo with no filter. The white sheet of paper lit by the flash stays white. Then let's place the red color filter from the set in front of the SB200 flash unit and take this photo. 
Using the same method with the blue color filter gives this result. Even more variations can be produced by adding another color with the second flash unit. The background is again lit red and the foreground blue. Here the diffuser panel is used to diffuse the light so that the glasses are lit softly. The flash set can be expanded with more SB200 flash units that can be divided among the three groups A, B and C. In this way you can express yourself creatively with the most diverse speed light solutions. In the open air the flash units will normally be used on the R1C1 attachment ring. When you want to have a little backlighting take a flash unit from the ring and hold it in your hand behind the subject. These are just a few applications for the R1C1 speed light set. Remember practice makes perfect. <laughs>